So this story is about a little boy, a little boy and an apple tree. This little boy, he was a very playful and a charming and a lovely chap. This boy he used to love that very big, huge, beautiful and a nice apple tree. This little boy used to every day go to that apple tree. He would just love to climb that on the tree, take a nap next to the tree, eat the delicious, juicy, yummy, lovely apples, and he would have a fabulous time. And every day, every day, he would be there with the apple tree, playing, enjoying, and having a very good time. And the apple tree loved that little boy so much. The apple tree would say, come, oh, come, my little boy, come to me. I love you so much, my little boy. Come, little boy, come and play with me. I love you. And the apple tree would feel so happy feeding his delicious, juicy apples. But as the time started passing by, the little, small infant boy grew up. Now he was five years old. He started going to the school and, and he started getting busy with his own work. An apple tree used to very sadly wait every day, every day for that little boy to come. It would look through its branches. Where is the little boy? Where is the little boy? It would keep on looking, looking, looking. But the little boy would not come. One day, that little boy was a bit sad. And the apple tree saw that, oh my God, my little boy is coming, coming, coming. My little boy is coming to me. But the boy was sad. And as soon as the boy came to the tree, the tree was so happy, joyous and glad that the tree said, oh, my little boy, come to me, come to me, we will play. Come, my little boy. But the boy was sad. He said, Apple tree, not a very small boy. I'm not that small boy. I can no more play with you. She said, no, no, you enjoy so much. Come, dear, come, come, climb on me, climb. He said, what, climb? No, 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 no. I am no more that small little boy. Now I play with toys. Oh, said the apple tree. Now you play with toys? Okay, you don't anymore like my apples? He said, no, no, no. I don't like your apples. I don't like it. Then the apple tree thought, thought, thought. And he said, oh, my little boy, I can make you happy. The boy said, how? You do one thing. I don't have money, but I have many, 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 many delicious apples on my tree. You climb my tree, take those delicious apples, sell it into the market. You will get some money and you can buy as many toys you want. The boy was happy, the boy was elated, the boy was joyous and he jumped, wow! I will buy many, 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 many toys. And then you know what did the boy do? The boy picked on to all the apples, put it in his basket, and he went to the market. And he sold them and bought some toys with the money. And soon, children, the time passed by. The tree kept waiting and waiting and waiting for that lovely boy to come to me. The tree was waiting to see, where is the boy, where is the boy, where is the boy? The tree kept waiting, 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 and, 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 and. The boy did not come. Years rolled by, years rolled by, and you know, one day, finally, the boy came. But now, this boy was a big man. He was a big man. And the apple tree loved that boy so much that the tree said, 
oh my little boy little boy little boy please come to me and you know what happened the boy got angry and he said hey you apple tree i am no more a little boy can't you see i am a big man now how can you think that i will play with you i can no more play with you i am a big boy i have so much work to do i have to take care of my family i have to build a house i am a big businessman you know big businessman now that for the tree that boy was always a small boy she didn't know what a big businessman is the tree then said oh my little boy come 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 to me we will play the boy got very angry and he angrily said i cannot play with you if you have something then give me the boy said give 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 and the tree told oh my little boy i don't have money to give you but you want a house right ah uh, i have again something to give you and the tree said oh my little boy you can take away my branches the wood and that will make a house for you <gasps> this made the boy so happy and you know what he went in chopped all the branches of the tree tash 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 and took it off took it off by to make his house and he was so 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 happy that he went off and he built a beautiful house for himself but children the old tree loved him so much she was very happy without its branches also <clears throat> but now what she was looking for was that little boy whom she loved she was waiting with tears in her eyes she was waiting and years passed by the boy never came the boy finally one day came back and tree was so happy so happy to see him back the tree said oh my little boy oh my please come to me and the boy went to the tree and the tree said oh my little boy why are you looking so sad oh my little boy why are you looking so sad the boy said oh my tree i am so tired i am so tired for my work what i do taking care of my family helping my children cooking for my family i am very tired i now want to do what i like the tree said that makes you sad what do you want my little boy then the tree said the tree asked and the boy said i i want to see i want to sail on a ship i want to go to many 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 countries i want to meet people i want to see the world and the tree said my little boy but i don't have a boat for you the old man kept the tree kept thinking and the man now who was getting old was also thinking but in the tree love the boy so much that the tree said oh my little boy i have something for you a surprise the old man got very happy and excited and he said oh my tree what do you have for me she said my boy an idea what's that then the tree said my little boy you can cut my trunk and make a boat out of it and you can see the world enjoy your life go to many different different places and you know what that man went to the market ran as fast he could he ran and ran ran and got a very sharp axe and what he did well let me we have lost your video yeah 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 uh, just a minute yeah just yeah that's fine now ma'am yeah, yeah perfect perfect i'm so sorry i'm so no, sorry no. for today 
uh, everything is into a mess. <laughs> no, no, please go ahead. Yeah. And then he got a sharp axe. And you know, children, what he did? Smash, swish, swish. And with three sharp strokes, the trunk fell. And the boy, the man, and the boy for the apple tree had a big trunk to make a boat. And he crafted a beautiful boat, the kind of boat what he wanted. And he started sailing, 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 and kept moving on to the various places in the world. And the tree, like a loving, loving person, kept waiting for the boy. And again, children, years went by. The trees kept waiting and waiting and waiting. And one fine day, the boy came back. He was very old. He was very weak. He was very feeble. He was sad. The boy came back to the apple tree and the apple tree looked at the boy and he said, Oh, my little boy, why have you come to me? I don't have any more apples to give you. I don't have any more the branches for you. The old man said, I don't have any more teeth to enjoy your delicious loving apples too. The apple tree thought, Thought. And in a sad way, the apple tree again said, Oh, my little boy, I don't have any more branches. I don't have any more wood to help you. The old man said, My house is done. My children are living very happily. I don't need a house. Then the old tree asked, My little boy, what do you want? The old boy said, Oh, my loving apple tree, you have loved me so much. You fed me with apples. You fed me, you gave me all the love. You gave me wood to make my house. You gave me a boat to fulfill my dreams of moving everywhere around the world. Oh, my apple tree, you have loved me so much. My apple tree, I want to be with you now. I want to play with you. I want to enjoy my time with you. I just want to be with you. Children, this was the story of a, an apple tree and a little boy. And this little boy, this little boy is all one of us, is all one of us who are always there to ask from our mama, mama, give me milk. Mama, give me chocolates. Mama, give me sweets. Mama, can I get a can I get some new dresses? Mama, can we go out? Mama, can we do this? We always ask, ask, ask. When do we go and hug our mama and say, Mama, you cooked so well for us today? Mama, you love us so much. We always ask, ask, ask. And our mamas and papas and our family they keep giving us, giving us, giving us. So children, we should not always be people who are only asking. We should always be like the man who became that old man who said, I want to be there with you, the tree. I want to love you. I want to be there. So, Madhvi, can we have an unmute with all the children, please? Madhvi, can you unmute all the yes, kids? Sure, I'm sure, sure. Okay, children. We will go one by one. So you ask any question and the kids who wants to answer will raise their hand. What is the name of story, ma'am? What is the name of story? Pallavi, unmute yourself. 
Yeah. Madam, yes. what is the name of story? Oh, Bihar, what mood? Bitcha, I want huh? you to tell me the name of the story. For you, what should be the name of the story? Tree. Tree. Oh, very good. The man and the apple tree. Tree. The man and the boy. The man and the apple tree, and what more? Ah, uh, tree and the little boy. Tree and the little boy. Ah. Okay. I want one by one. What ma'am has told, you have to raise and one by one only you're going to be saying the name of the story. Okay. And what more? Pallavi, unmute yourself. Yeah. Now you can now, ask. Yeah. Now tell me one quality of the little boy what you did not like. One quality of the little boy which you all did not like. Who wants to answer? Shruti has raised the hand. So where is Shruti? Okay. Come on. Shruti, tell your... Please tell. You have unmuted Shruti. Please tell. You have raised your hand. I don't know. Yeah, anybody else? Who will tell me what was one thing which you did not like? Okay, we have here Rashi. Just a minute. Okay, Rashi, unmute yourself. The boy who says that he will not play with the tree, but again and again he is coming to tree and asking things that he wants. Okay. okay, so can you tell one quality of the boy which is not a nice quality which we should not have? One quality? One quality which a boy had which is not a good quality which any one of us should have. Can you tell Mother. me? Mother. Asking the things. <laughs> Asking the things. Okay. Anything more? Ma'am, we should not speak to others in arrogant language. Arrogant. Oh, very good. You should not speak to others in an arrogant language. Beautiful answer. What more? What more? Yes, yes, yes. Just a minute. Who else? Please raise your Durga hand. Bhavani, I think he wants to say okay. something. Durga, please tell. Unmute yourself. Ma'am, the boy was selfish. No, oh, lovely, very good. The boy was selfish. The boy was selfish. Okay. <laughs> and who's got, yes, yes, Amruta. Okay. You can unmute, unmute yourself, Bitta. Yeah, please unmute yourself now. Huh. We can't hear you, Amruta. Uh, I like that. The friendly nature of the boy with the tree. You love we should the... all have. We should all have. Okay, the friendly nature. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Then we okay, have... and who? And yeah. who else? There is a Spider Man. So just a minute. Okay. Okay. Somebody says the boy goes selfish. Okay. Very true. The boy goes ah, selfish. Please. Really, the ma'am. Yeah. He was selfish, ma'am. He was a selfish person. Yes. 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 Now, now, can you draw a picture, a picture which shows you how that relationship between the apple tree and the boy was according to you? A picture which shows us the life about apple tree and the boy. Madhvi, do you do they have? Uh, paper and pens with themselves? No, no, they don't have, ma'am. Okay, they, they don't But have. whatever you will say, they will draw it and then we'll bring it to the next class. Okay, whatever I say, they're going to bring it for the next class. Yeah. Okay. So, I would like all of you to make one cover page for the story. Give your title to the story so that 
I want to see this story in your own words. How you want to change this story with your picture. How you want to show the picture of an apple tree, whether a sad tree, whether a happy tree, whether a loving tree, however you want to show it. How you want to show about the boy and how what you understood from the story in your own words. Can we get that, ma'am? Madhvi, can yes, we yes. get them from these children? We can get it next in the next class. They'll do it and come back. So, uh, can we also get that uh, posted on the Facebook page also? Yes, yes. Whatever kids will do, they share it to us and then we will post it in the Facebook. Yes, children. Your story, your name, your characterization, your way of putting things will be something which everybody in this world can watch. So children, I want you to make your own story, your own things, so that this story comes with a beautiful new prospect. Anybody who would, before we move on to the next story, anybody who wants to have a discussion or have something different to talk about the story, Anybody who wants something that touched you and you said, oh my God, wow, I used to do this, not good. This, wow, this was a good learning for me. From today, I will not do it. I was bullying my younger brother. I was troubling my Diti. Now I will not be that selfish boy. Anybody who would like to share your naughty story? Anybody who's going to share the naughty? I can see a lot of smile on everybody's faces. <laughs> what about you, Meena? You are going to give your... Naughty story. I can see that. You can unmute yourself, Meena, to give that. Oh my God. Rudy. Uh, yes, Meena. I tell my own story, madam. Yes, Vita, please say. Okay. The story name is Tree. One day, um, there is one tree. The tree is very nice tree. The tree name is Mango Tree. Okay. Uh, there is one boy also. The boy name is Ravi. The boy is um. The boy is childhood. The boy is childhood play with the mango tree. The mango tree was very sweet and lovely. Um, the boy was so selfish boy. The boy was so selfish selfish boy. One day. One day, the shellfish boys and um, she is big now. In childhood, mango. The boy play with mango tree. But uh, she is big now. Uh, she is 10 years old now. But the boy not, not played the tree. He go to school and um, he study fifth class. He go to school. He write homeworks. She, he is so... He is so busy. She not go to. She not go to mango tree. The mango tree. Where is my little boy? Where is my little boy? And the the mango tree was searched so many months. So many months back, the boy was come. One one day, the boy was come to mango tree, and the mango tree was very happy. Oh, my little boy. Oh, my little boy. Come. Uh, come and play with, uh, play with. Play with me. Please, play with me. Very good, okay. Meena. Meena, very good. Sorry to interrupt you, Meena. Your story is really nice. I want you to write this story. Write this story. So, children, next class, Meena, I, I heard your story. It's very interesting. But you know, we have a very short span of time. So I have to do one more good story with all of you. So what I do, Meena, can we have this part of the rest part of your story? You can record it and you can send it to Madhvi, Madam, or your school principal. She will send it to Madhvi, Ma'am, and I will hear your story. And you can have that story written. So that when we meet next, so Madhvi Ma'am is going to have so many, many, many new yes. storytellers. Right, Sirisha? Peter? Yeah. Sirisha? Yes, yes ma'am. Just note it out after this session. Uh -huh. Ask Meena to record the entire story on mobile and then okay. she'll share it to you. Okay? Sure.
Then sure, I'll ma'am. Share, then I'll share it back to Pallavi. Sure. Okay. Thank you so much, Risha, and thank you so much, Madhvi, ma'am. Thank you so yes. much. So let us oh. start now the next story. Yes. Now, 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 children, tell me what kind of story would you like to hear now? What kind of a story? So, Madhvi ma'am told me that all of you love to listen to Akbar and Birbal. Oh, somebody wrote horror story. My God, my God, my God. I get very scared of ghost and all. Huh? I'm scared of darkness. No, no, no ghost story. How about Akbar Birbal? Oh, Madhvi ma'am says yes, yes, yes. Who else? Who else? Okay. So let's go. Kushi says, yes. Can you say something from Puranas like Ramayana? Okay. And mythology. Okay. So few people want mythology. Mythology. Okay. So how many want something mythology? Just raise your hands. Okay. Okay. Only one. Two. Okay, only two hands. Only two hands, only two hands for this action. Many children from Art of Living are there. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so let's do something. Let us have this time uh, Akbar Birbal story. And next time we can go with the uh, Veer Hanumana story. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, yes. Oh, who said no? Okay, now I move on with the story. So this story, okay. This story, children, is about Akbar and Birbal. Now, Akbar was a very, very chirpy, cute, uh, very, you know, a flam boy kind of a boy. He was a chubby, he was a cute, he was a brave boy. When he was even into his small time, childhood days or into his teens. More than his learnings, you know, sitting next to his teachers and his studies, you know what he enjoyed more? He enjoyed more was what? Going into the jungle, doing his horse ride, tabak, 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 and hunting. And what he used to enjoy hunting was lion. And as usual, as he started hunting more, 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 he started enjoying the crater. And slowly, Akbar started growing from a teen he became a young boy and he became the shahenshah the emperor finally he became the emperor and one day one day along with akbar few of his soldiers went to a forest for hunting and they went, and they went, and they went. They were chasing a huge, huge lion, which Akbar wanted to capture a lion and keep it in his kingdom. And he went on, and he went on, and he glabbed, 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 tuck, 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 along with the soldiers. They started early in the morning, and it was afternoon, and afternoon, and afternoon, and now it was evening. And they were all into the mist, the jungle. And it started getting dark. Akbar said, oh my God, I've come a long way from Agra. I have come such a long way from there. And now my soldiers, I don't know. How do we return back to the palace? And it is getting evening. The soldiers, all of them get 
I mean, they got worried. They didn't know what to do. They started getting anxious. They said, my emperor, what do you want us to do now? What should we do? The emperor, emperor was speechless, was silent. He didn't know. He kept on thinking and thinking and thinking. And then he suddenly saw a man coming from a distance. He said his soldiers, my soldiers, wait. Wait for some time, my soldiers. There's a man coming. He will guide us our way. And then this man was a very playful, naughty man. He kept on singing his song. And he was dancing. He was singing, dancing, singing, dancing, and he was joyously moving, 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 moving. And lazily he was coming. And Akbar was in a hurry. He was in absolute hurry. He just wanted, 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 wanted to speak to this man to guide his way. He was in a hurry, 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 hurry. And this man was in very carefree mood. Finally, finally, the man came next to the emperor and the emperor said, Hey, you man, stop. This man was, okay. Okay, I stop. What do you want? The man asked. The soldiers got shocked. They thought, oh my God, how come this man is talking to our emperor like this? How can he talk to our emperor like this? Doesn't he know that this man is Akbar? Oh my God, our emperor gets so angry. I think now he's going to ask us to chop his head off. And this man again smiled and said, what do you want? And the emperor looked at him with a very, very, very questionable look. And he asked, Can you please tell us which way goes to Agra? Which road will go to Agra? The man looked at Akbar and he said, which road will go to Agra? Akbar got a bit irritated and he said, Yes, you man, I want to know which road will go to Agra. This man started laughing. <laughs> and the soldiers got really, 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 they got scared like, Oh my God, why this man wants to die? This man wants to die today. He's laughing in front of the emperor. Doesn't he know this is emperor? Then the king angrily asked, Hey, you little man, how can you laugh? I asked you a simple question. Which road goes to Agra? This man, he held his stomach and he started loud. Ha, 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 ha. You man, you come to jungle to hunt? And don't you know that roads don't have legs to move? Roads cannot walk till Agra. Your question is wrong. All the soldiers got scared. How can he say that? Like that to king. But then you know what? The emperor... He started laughing at his question and he also gave a big, big, big hearty laugh. And he said, oh, you wise man, you said so well that the roads cannot walk to Agra. I should have asked you, which path will take me to Agra or which road will take me to Agra? He was very happy with the common sense that little man had. And he gifted a ring to this man. And he said, oh, my dear man, oh, my wise man, can you tell me your name? This man told, my name is Mohandas. 
and he took that ring from the emperor which was a huge green emerald ring and and the king told him my dear friend take this ring with you whenever you come to agra and you want to be one of my minister come with this ring i will recognize you and and i will love to have such a wise person in my ministry children this story about akbar and birbal is having common sense is having not only common sense but along with that presence of mind this story is about not fearing but putting your ideas forward this story is about answering in a correct way talking in a proper manner do you know children how important it is to talk in a way see this man never knew that this man is going to be akbar he just said what he thought was right what he felt should have been told he pointed out the question how that question should have been asked and this opportunity gave him a big 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 role to be played as birbal as a jewel of akbar a part of his ministry children so many opportunities come to us either we don't talk to them or we fear to express ourselves or we fear to be there to be there and this man mohandas is the real name of birbal one of the jewel of akbar and a man known for his knowledge known for his wisdom known for his humor he could say the very 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 the most complicated part of the things also with a joke he had that guts he had that bravery that's in him children this was another story about akbar and birbal so can we have them unmuted please yes 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 so you may please ask the question i'll unmute individually okay so how many of you like the story raise your hands <laughs> raise your hands how many of you oh. like the story yes so how many of you feel you are like birbals how many of you feel you are like birbals raise your hands so let me see somebody new face so let us go for brala and biju i'm unmuting yes. you come on so what so my question to you is what makes you feel that you have that common sense what makes you feel that you are like birbal the knowledgeable person yeah please tell can i see your faces yes who wants to tell yeah who wants to say who feels that they are like birbal okay nobody did anybody madhvi raise the hand no no nobody is there so we should go for some other question yes we go okay so who would tell me what did you what did okay what is the name of the story this story is one about a tricky answer this story is called as a tricky answer this story its name is tricky answer okay so anybody else would like to give a name to the story this is very simple anybody anybody who would like to give a name to the story or let me ask you a question if a powerful man like akbar the king will ask you a question 
how will you answer? Will you be able to answer how the Birbal, great Birbal did? <laughs> yes? Who would like to say this? Okay, I think nobody is on to the answer more. <laughs> Father, anything? No, but, yeah, please. Sir, a witty answer will serve its purpose. Uh, again, Mitta? A wise answer will serve its purpose. A wise answer will serve its purpose. Yes, yes. Can you give an example about it? If ever you have given a wise answer and you got something good? <laughs> Like Birman came to Akbar, no. he also don't know who is that king. Okay, okay, very good, very good. So I gave this name of the story as tricky question. Can you all give a new name to the story? Okay, I'll ask you one more. Huh. I will ask you one more question. The question is, Akbar the king was supposed to be, the Akbar the king was supposed to be a very brave person. And he used to do so many wars and he used to fight and do so many things. How many of you feel that he was a good human being, he was a wise person, because Akbar has two qualities. One quality is that he was a very brave soldier. He was a very strict ruler. And at the same time, he was a very loving person. According to all of you, what do you feel? Which quality of Akbar made him a great man? Which quality of Akbar made him a great man? Think over, think over. All of you are so smart, so intelligent. All of us we say, right? Uh, he is an innovative person. Achha, what does innovative ka matlab kya hota hai, beta? What does innovative mean? Thinking. Thinking in a new way. Okay, what more? What made Agba? Uh, yeah, he was innovative. See, he saw a man who was wise and he got him. What more? Ah. Uh, Akbar only kept the Mohandas name in Birbal. Okay, no, that was his real name. That was his real name. So few people call him as Mohandas, Kuch Kuch Bolte, Manohar Das. This is a confusion. This is yes. a big confusion. It's a big confusion. Okay, now what more, what more quality, what more quality? Okay, children, if ever you go to a jungle to hunt, how will that be? How will that be if you get a chance to go to the jungle and do some hunting with the huge bow and arrows? How will it be? See, I can see Madhuri Rai, her daughter is smiling, giving a very big smile. Can you say how will that hunting be? I can even say Durga, he's putting his hand on his mouth. So who would like to go hunting? Yeah, Barvi, what would you like to say? Madhvi Rai, what would you like to say? Ma'am, it will be very adventurous. It will be very adventurous. So which animal would you like to hunt? Ma'am, I don't know the technique of hunting only. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you don't know the technique. Okay, okay, okay. Durga is raising his very, very, you know, he's raising long hands. Yes, Durga, tell me, which uh, animal would you like to hunt? We should not hunt animals. Oh, Ma'am, I will say one example. Yeah, yeah, say, he says we should not hunt. We should not hunt animals. They also can harm. Okay, so we should, who said we should not hunt an animals? Yes, we should, yeah, we should actually not hunt animals because they are also living beings. They are also the living beings 
and we should care for them because they also have emotions they also have feelings this is so true they are just like us we should love them feed them and give them a very healthy atmosphere and to and make sure that they live in a healthy atmosphere make sure just a minute beta we should make sure that we do not waste paper you know how does a paper come they come from trees and from where does the tree come forest forest they come from forest they come from jungle and children if you will not have trees will you have oxygen to breathe no ma'am we should not hunt trees also from yeah. that only we come oxygen we get Air oxygen air also will come from that only absolutely children so this story about hunting also takes us to a new world which says okay knowledge intelligence is a very good thing but at the same time it teaches us we should not hunt we should not hunt for animals we should make sure to use our papers use your notebooks very wisely don't waste papers one paper wasted means one tree being chopped down and this is how all of us we celebrate world environment day do we do that did we all celebrate this month world environment day did we do that yes so we have to make sure this story gives us a learning to be wise and intelligent and one of our friend gave us one more learning not to hunt animals and the entire world entire world is dependent on each other hence we should always use everything properly so children this was the second story what we had about a witty 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 birbal and a wise akbar would you all like to ask something more would you all like to ask something more at the basun please tell chalo then let us wind up and uh, the assignment which ma'am has given to you people you please pick up any one of the stories from this two write the review and we will show it to ma'am okay you will okay. have to whatsapp to principal ma'am and she will share it to us okay so how many of you like the story session at least let me know that how many of you like the story session oh one thumbs up one hand two three oh yes what more oh yes yes and i can see the smile on madhvi ma'am's face so see uh, children i would like to tell you all something madhvi ma'am is doing a wonderful job she is making you all listen to stories she's taking so much of pain so much of pain to get in touch with all of you so children whatever stories she makes you listen from any one of us put 2% put 2% in your life and trust me madhvi ma'am will be the person who will make you all a different human being with so many learnings yes madhvi thank you so much thank you pallavi no we should thank you because in spite of having a fracture and you are telling a story that is the spirit which the kids have to understand right so let's so clap for ma'am i couldn't use prop because my one hand is completely blocked yes, i'm so yes. sorry about it oh no no but issue. yes Yes, but uh, uh, for the mythological stories, wherever Next. Madhvi Ma'am gives me a slot, I will take one story and we'll do one hour only on that story, okay. and we'll do with lot of rajas and mobs ah, and everything. Yes, yes, that Next. is my promise. Next Sunday, mythology theme, right? Thank you, Ma'am. God, bacha. <laughs> Thank you, Ma'am, for mythology. Oh God! Thank you so much, beta. You Thank made my you. day. Thank you so much, beta. You made my day. Okay. So again, next Sunday we will meet at eleven o'clock, and I request that you please ask your friends also who have not joined today to join next week. Okay. See you. Thank you, ma'am.
Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Love you all. Thank you so much.